We're being asked here to give the face value, the place value, and the total value of each of the underlying digits below. So there are four questions. So let's go about solving them. So we've got number one here. We've got 31,809. So we have been asked to give the face value, the place value, and the total value. So let's go about doing just that. Uh, the underlying digit is 8, so that's the place, that's the face value, sorry. It's just the digit as it looks. Uh, place value, well, here we have the ones period, and here we have the thousands period. Uh, we don't go into the thousands for this particular question. The 8 is in the, let's have a look, this is the ones period, but let's break this down even further. So this is the ones, this is the tens column, and this is the hundreds column. So we're in the hundreds. That's the place value. And to get the total value, we multiply the face value times the place value. So that's 8 times 100, 800. So that would be number one complete. So here's number two, uh, 579. So again, simple really, face value, place value, total value. So the face value of the underlying digit is 5. That's what it is when you look at it. Place value, this is the ones period, this is the ones place, this is the tens place, this is the hundreds place. So yeah, that place value is 100. Uh, if we want to do the total value, it's face value times place value. So 5 times 100 is 500. And that's number 2 done. For number three, we've got 1,399. Don't forget, this is the ones period here. This is the thousands period here. We've only got 1,000 there. But we're not focused on that. We are focused on the underlying digits. And the face value of the underlying digit is 9, because that's what it is. Just when you look at it, the place value is the... That's the ones place. That's the tens place. That's the hundreds place. So we're in the tens which means the total value will be very easy to figure out because the total value is the face value times the place value. So 9 times 10 is 90. All done. Well, all done apart from number 4. Number 4 is 389,000 because we're in the thousands period. And this is the ones period, 132. Right. Let's focus on the face value, place value, and total value of the underlying digit. In this case, it's a 3. So the face value is just a 3. Great. And then the place value. Now let's have a look. So that's the 1s column. That's the 10s column. That's the 100s column. So it's 100,000. So 100,000 is the place value. And total value is face value times place value. So that's 300,000. And really... That's as simple as anything. Finished.